about a networks question from routing we have been given a network with three routers p q and r as shown in this figure all the links have cost of unity which means one the routers exchange distance vector routing information and have converged on their routing tables which means we are following the dvr routing in this case and all the routers have exchanged their distance vectors and currently the system is assumed to be in the stable state but now suddenly the link qr fails so this link breaks out of a sudden after which this q and r are left in the network p and q are left what will they do they will send out their routing updates to each other and how do they do it at random times but each at the same average rate which means we are not sure if p will send first or q will send first they do it at random times but at the same average rate so there arise two different scenarios if p sends first to q and another if q sends first to p we will explore both of them and what we need to find is the probability of a routing loop formation which means the count to infinity problem will take place or not that probability has to be found out now we know that distance vector routing suffers from count to infinity problem but does it always occur it depends let us see how currently since the system is in stable state let us check what will be the routing tables at each of these routers so for p p q and r here we will be having distance and here we will be having the next hop so for distance of p to p is 0 there is no next stop distance to q is 1 next is q itself and for r the distance is 2 next stop is q at the router q the table will be p q and r the distance and the next stop for p the distance is 1 next is p for q itself 0 for r distance is 1 next is r and now at r the table will be p q r distance next stop for p it will be 2 next is q because it is going through q similarly p was going through q for reaching r for q it is 1 next is q for itself 0 now since this link has broken q and r r has got separated from the network so now what will happen it can no more send its routing information to p and q so now what q will do is it will update its distance to r with infinity there is no next stop this distance has been updated to infinity and now only this p and q are left r is gone q is aware of that but p is not aware yet so what will happen is now there are two cases in case 1 we will say that q is sending its routing information first to p then what will happen what p will do is let us construct the routing table for p this is p q r distance and the next stop then for p what happens it checks that original distance is 0 and it is giving it 1 so it will take the minimum of the two for reaching itself it will be always having zero distance now for q it is already having one and that is giving zero so 0 plus 1 1 it will stay the same next stop is q but for r what will happen now it originally had two over here but the next stop was q now what it is seeing is what information is it getting from q that the distance from q to r has become infinity and now what p sees that it was going through q itself but now that distance q to r got updated to infinity so what it will do is 2 plus the new distance of q to r which basically is infinity so now q will come to know that the path through which it was going to r which is q that distance has become infinity so even p will update its distance to r as infinity hence there is no count infinity problem in this case one the system has become stabilized again both p and q have updated their distances to infinity
so if q sends its information to first then there is no problem now let us see the case to when p is sending first to q what will happen in this case is let us check this would be the routing table at q the distance and the next stop p q and r for p it will stay the same 1 next is p for q it will stay the same 0 and none but for r what will happen now it sees that from p it is getting the distance as 2 and originally what it is having it at its own place it is having infinity so now what it does is it comes to know that it thinks that p must be having some way to reach r in a distance of 2 so what it will do is it knows that the distance between p to q is 1 so what it will do is it will update it as 1 plus the distance between p to r thinking that p has some way to reach r it does not know what way so 1 plus what is p to r distance 2 so 1 plus 2 3 it updates it to 3 and marks the next hop as p so this is what happens and next time this was the first iteration in the next time when let us check now q will send this table to p in the next round of exchange then what p will do this is the table at p p q and r distance and the next stop for p and q it will be the same but for r what it already has a distance of 2 and the next stop being q in the original table now what happens it sees that the distance of q to r has been updated to 3 so it will also update its distance as it knows the distance between p to q is 1 so it will do 1 plus the distance of q to r it does not know that q has calculated that distance from a path passing through p itself so what it will do is it will update its distance to 1 plus 3 which is 4 next hop being q so now this 2 3 4 5 6 and so on this is going into the count to infinity problem so when does this occur only when p had shared its information to q first but in case 1 if q had done that first then the problem would have got solved at the same point and there would be no count to infinity problem so it depends on which of the two things are taking place first and both are happening at the random times so both are having equal probability of taking place so we would say that yes there is a chance of falling into count to infinity problem but there is equal probability of choosing case 1 or case 2 so the answer for this problem has to be half or 1 by 2 you will find the answer to be 1 in some places but they are saying that the problem will always take place irrespective of whether q will send first or p will send first but as we have explored here it depends actually on what things are taking place so the answer for this problem should be half